Before I moved up here I was a dancer for six years, uh, performing dancer, competitive dancer and then when I moved up here I obviously left my dance school from down home and then tried to find something up here that was just as good and then that's when I kind of stumbled upon well, dance. Funnily enough I was doing a journalism class where I had to uh, create uh, news pieces. So I did one on ro like roller derby league. We're doing a game at the entertainment centre, and so I went and did a, a piece on that. And then from there, the girl pulled me over and was like, "Do you want to get involved?" And I was like, "Yeah, like this looks like really, really good fun. Like it's you know really high energy and, and hard fitness, and you know that that same kind of strength and fitness that I used to find in dance, I could also relate to in roller derby." When I was younger, I always had rollerblades, so I was always the inline skates, and and um, yeah, the way you've got to balance, like the way you've got to balance on quads, is very different to the way you balance on, on blades. It was it was interesting, but I pushed through it, and it was something that I really, really wanted to do because it was something that you know helped me bring my fitness back up and stop me feeling lethargic, and it was something to do, you know, when I when I was frustrated with everything else. I think the concept of of your alter ego, I suppose you could call it, um, or your derby girl, um, is really cool. Like it, it, it allows people to kind of step out of their norms and, and step out of their comfort zones. My friend from Sydney actually came up with Dolly River Part and, and I was like, yeah, that's it. The whole fishnets and everything, it's, it's, I don't ever very feel very self-conscious about it because everyone is so open and relaxed and it's such a welcoming atmosphere and big booties are highly sought after in roller derby because if you have a giant ass then you can block everything. There's actually one skater, um, Mocha Killingbird, she's actually a dancer and a choreographer. I connected with her so much because she is a dancer and because I'm a dancer um, and there's things that she's taught me in a dance sense that I can apply to roller like if I'm not getting something at training she'll pull me aside and be like look it's like this like with crab skating she's like it's like when you turn out in first position you go down in deep plie and I'm like oh okay that makes more sense oh my parents love it my mum always been supportive of absolutely everything that I've ever done but um she's so excited for when I get like my debut bout I think moving up to Wollongong and, and starting uni was a, a new chapter in my life and and, and roller derby is just part of that chapter. Like, you know, I've kind of put that dance and that home life behind me now and I'm kind of going on and doing my own thing.